This just came in the mail. I'm going to open it up. It's an Enzo Trapper. Got a couple new ones that I wanted to talk about. This one, an Enzo Burke 75, my new EDC, and this Enzo Trapper. Both of these knives are very sharp out of the box. and sharp. I love the shape of the blade on this Enzo Berg 75. I'm not sure what it is, but that shape just resonates very deeply with me. I'm half Norwegian, or probably less than that, on my mom's side. I grew up hearing Norwegian and I've always been interested in the history of Scandinavia, and I have some Irish and some German. Maybe there's some latent DNA resonance or something, but I just, when I see the shape of the Puko, I just start drooling. And so I wanted to pick up a full tang version and found the Enzo uh, Trapper with the Scandi grind. And I just, Obsessed over this knife, again, like I do, and kept watching videos, and I just, it's so pretty. I don't know what it is about that shape. The functionality of it, the simplicity of it, the ease of sharpening. Just a great blade shape. The Trapper comes with a very, very nice leather sheath, and I really like the fact that it's both a dangler and it's got a regular belt loop, so you've got a couple options for carrying, which I like. It's a nice, nice feature there. The stitching is very good and very thick. And the smell of leather is very strong. So, Oh, it smells so good. So I have other leather sheaths that don't give off that leather smell, and that's one thing I love about leather is the smell. So very nice sheath that goes with this. Fits nice and tight on the nose. So I'm not smart enough to remember all the stats on these knives. There's tons and tons of videos of people testing these, and they've got all the specs. Did I say stats? See, I'm not smart enough for this. But I can tell you I love this knife. This is a really nice, almost like a gentleman's folder, people have called it. I've actually been carrying it around my neck as a neck knife, which, which works really well. I want to use it and just pop it off and then just you know, clip it back on. And I've been doing that because I've been also carrying the Fin Wolf still. I haven't given up the Fin Wolf yet. So I carry two knives now. Is that okay? Enzo makes a really nice product, and I really feel like the value. This was 145 but I feel like for the fit and finish and the steel you get and the tightness of the tolerances, I really feel like this is a good value. I mean, the blade is perfectly centered in there. My camera's not wanting to focus. And this one, just a beautiful knife. I really like these knives. I may have to pick up the Enzo Camper next. So those are my two latest purchases, and these are my two most expensive knives right now. And they're really not that expensive. We're talking 145 and 136, but for what you get, pretty nice deal.
I hang these on my wall because I don't have any place to put them. I don't have a shelf to put them on down here. And I don't want these sitting in a box because I like to see them. So that's my current knife collection. And most of these are very budget friendly. But I decided I wanted to splurge and get something a little nicer with a nicer steel and nicer sheath. So those are my two new Enzos.